We've Got Your Back on ABC 27 is presented by Penn State Hershey Spine Center. And welcome back, Dr. Ryder. For our viewers at home, what types of questions should they ask about a procedure before making the decision to have surgery? That's a very important question and uh, something that I think you need to spend a lot of time in the office talking to the surgeon about. Mm -hmm. um, what I usually talk to the patient about is kind of their goals for the surgery because you want to make sure that what you want out of the surgery is what happens. You know, it, if say you have lumbar stenosis and your goal is to get rid of back pain, well, most surgeons know that, well, all surgeons know hopefully, but uh, that lumbar stenosis, if you have stenosis, the surgery really is going to help you walk farther. It's going to help your leg pain, not your back pain. So you want to make sure that you're clear with the surgeon what they're treating and what is going to get better. Um, the other, you know, questions you need to ask is, you know, how long the surgery takes, you know, what the post-operative course is going to be like, how long you'll be off work, you know, what are your restrictions afterwards, and all those are good questions too. But I think it's very important that and you... What about the type of anesthesia? Would, you, would it normally be you're knocked out, or would you be able to get some type of spinal if you're working on the spine? You do. You can. Uh, there are options with anesthetics. Um, different places use different anesthetics commonly. We don't do a lot of spinals where we, at Hershey, but we could do one if we wanted to. Now, how has the tr surgeries changed over the years? What's new? This is, a, this is the, the most exciting question for me. Um, really, the trend now is trying to preserve the motion in the spine rather than to fuse the spine. It, traditionally, we fuse it, and still we do sometimes. It's still a very good surgery, but now we're trying to put in artificial discs, just like you have an artificial knee, knee replacement. Mm -hmm. Now we have artificial discs for the neck and the low back. We're trying to make incisions smaller, um, trying to split, do muscle splitting techniques so you have less pain after surgery. Um, and we're even, at Hershey, we're looking at a study that's trying to minimize the scarring after surgery, which again is just hopefully a better outcome. Well, thank you. Let's go to the call center to Deborah for one last check. Thanks, Val. Dr. Shane, we do have one time for one more viewer question. My father was diagnosed with spinal stenosis about two years ago. He received two of the three injections he was scheduled to receive. They helped for a short time, but now the pain is back. At age 72, what is the best treatment for him? Well, spinal stenosis is a problem that often doesn't respond to injections in the long term. A usually temporary response, but not a long term response. And in someone who's 72, the best solution is really surgery. It's probably the one operation we do for the spine with the best results. And with this type of surgery, this is something when you're practically up the next day. Up the same day. A few hours after surgery, people can be up and on their feet and even go home from the hospital if they choose to. Okay, great. Dr. Shan, thanks for joining us tonight. And we want to thank all the specialists for answering your calls as well. Now we'll send it back to you, Val. We have another quick question for you, Doctor. What should people look for when they're searching for a physician like a spine center? I think you want a uh, physician in a spine center who's interested in not just taking care of patients, but also research and even training future generations, you know, investing in the future of what the care is going to be. Well, doctor, we want to actually thank you for being here tonight. There were so many questions that people have in back pain. It's just so common. You never know when you're going to turn the wrong way or pick something up the wrong way. So it's really something they need to know about. You're welcome. And also, a, a quick question about just making sure that we were talking about lifting, and I have a quick question about lifting. Yes. What's the proper way to do that? You really want to not use your back. You want to use your legs and bend at the knees and pick it up. You want to keep your back straight and avoid kind of leaning over. Ah, because yes. a lot of people make that mistake. And then, uh, and our poor yes. Chuck Rhodes today, he was doing well. He's out, ironically, because he had a back problem. And uh, he was in the newsroom, and something happened, and then we heard the, ah! So he was well, off tonight, so he may be us calling busy. you. It keeps That's us right, busy. <laughs> okay, we want to tell you you can still call. The lines are on line 531-3767 if you want to know about information. More information.